Hi, I'm Steve from Two Cat Media, and welcome to another video. In fact, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I go about checking the blades or the propellers prior to the very first flight of the day, or if I need to check if I need to kind of replace any of the blades or propellers on a drone. Now, today I'm going to be using the DJI Mini 2 because in my last video, I'll put a link up above it, that I kind of accidentally kissed or touched the top of a 70 meter chimney on a bit of a foggy day, a bit of a naughty, naughty there, but it definitely is one of its lives on that day. And the only thing I can hear is a bit of a click there on the one arm, which seems fine. And also there's a crack at least on this set of blades at the rear left arm. So they'll need replacing anyway. So yeah, apart from that, uh, we're gonna go about checking how to check the quality. We're gonna go talk very briefly about the different rotations, counterclockwise or clockwise, because each motor will spin clockwise or counterclockwise basically, and will have a key part to play in selecting the correct blade for that motor, because they have different angles to cut through the air. So that's very, very important. And also about replacing them as well. So without further ado, let's crack onto it and you see exactly what I mean. Okay, so here we are with the DJI Mini 2. Now, first of all, is the inspection side of things, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna give it a visual inspection on the top of the blades. You wanna check the bottom of the blades as well, okay? And also, you wanna feel along the side of both sides of the blade for any kind of nicks, etc. okay? So I know from looking at this, that this is the one with the crack on, you'll see it just here. And if I spin it around, you'll probably see it a little bit better there as well. So that needs replacing, that set of blades does. So that's the lower left arm. Now this one here, a quick visual, seems fine. Now a bit of kind of scraping on the paints is absolutely fine in my opinion. We're gonna have a look here on the bottoms, they all look fine, have a quick feel. Okay, and on the side for any kind of nicks, that all seems fine, so they'll be okay. I'm going to check this bottom corner, it all looks fine, and we'll spin it around and have a quick look there. It's very awkward to do when you're on camera, fine. And I'm just going to make sure I feel the blades there, that feels fine, and that feels fine too. So. The next one is this blade here. Now, on the surface, these actually look fine, but I think you might just tell here, it's got a bit of a nick in it there. And just by running my finger across here, I can tell that nick needs replacing. So, we know that we definitely need to replace these and these. Now, the rule of thumb should be, especially when you've got single blades on like this, that if one blade on a particular motor uh, needs replacing, that you should replace both blades. That's what DJI suggests. So that is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna replace both of these blades here and both of these blades here. But that's the rule of thumb. If you got single propellers that can come off individually, if one is broken or damaged, you should replace both, okay? Now we need to look here at the clockwise and the counterclockwise rotation of the drown motors because this plays a key part in choosing and selecting the right blades. Now if you think of this like a cross, so this is line number one, top left to bottom right, line number one. And the other side of the cross here is line number two, and that goes top right to bottom left. So as a rule of thumb on most drones, this line here, these will spin clockwise, or at least they should normally spin clockwise, okay? So these are spin clockwise. So these are going in this direction here, okay? And on line two, top right to bottom left, these will spin counterclockwise. Okay, and this is very, very important. So if you look at the two top motors, they spin in opposite direction. So clockwise, anti-clockwise. So if you can see here, they're actually spinning out and into the top of the head of the body, okay? And on the bottom ones, this spins counterclockwise and this spins clockwise. There we go, yeah? So these spin out and into the bottom of the body, okay? So just remember, this line here is clockwise uh, in general, but just double check with your manual, it should be. And this line here is counterclockwise on the quads, or at least it should be. The reason why I mention this is because on some drones, they have markings on. So here, this is all plain, okay? 
but on this arm here can you see here there's just a little kind of engraving like a slight curve and if you look on the opposite arm just move these propellers out the way you'll see exactly the same thing as well a little kind of indent curve there so these represent the counterclockwise and these two arms here don't have it on at the very end and i'll show you the other one okay so then when you look at the propellers when you get them out the packet you'll see do you see there right by the screws we have these kind of these little kind of embossed curves that, that match this here okay so we know that the blades with the little kind of curve on there by the screws there they will go on this arm and the arms without which are plain they don't have any kind of marking on them okay so it's very important that you get the right clockwise and counterclockwise blades on one way of telling them as well is it normally spins into the air the higher side so it kind of cuts through the air there can you see like the angle if i can show you here okay i'll show you on this one it's a bit, probably a bit easier so this spins this way around so the in the blade slopes down like that so the higher side is where it cuts through the air and it cuts the air and pushes the air downwards okay so if you haven't got any markings on any of them on some drones then that's something to look out for okay so we've checked the quality of the blades or propellers and we've uh, deciphered that these two which happen to both be counterclockwise both need replacing and as i said if you've got single blades you definitely need to replace both blades now if you buy a pack of replacement blades, especially third party ones, make sure, first of all, that they are you know, of good quality and they've got good reviews, but you need to make sure that if they are a completely different brand to what you have and a different type, then you do need to replace all of the blades as well, because some have different kind of angles on, on the blades as well, especially when you get into kind of FPV racing, etc. Okay, so the next thing to note is on some drones you might get a screws that come with the propellers and if they do i suggest that you use the new screws and throw away the old ones okay now some screws like with the dji they will come with a kind of a thread lock uh, a bit of thread lock paste or a little bit of a painting of that on the bottom of the screw and you'll need something like that if yours doesn't have it so when you put your new screw in that it kind of bonds it kind of has like a, it's a bit of a glue effect so with all the vibrations of this spinning around and spinning around and landing up and down and the wind there's going to be some degree of vibration over time and there's always that very rare chance or that slight chance that one of your screws could start working loose over time so even if you're not replacing your blades or propellers it's just always probably good practice just to make give it make sure it's got it's tight just give it a little kind of twist there with the correct tool okay so this is the tool that came with the dji it works well okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all i'm going to take off the screws you have to excuse me because i'm doing this on camera so we're going to take it off so we're going to do it lefty loosey okay so that starts to come out as you can see now a good rule of thumb is to get it and kind of screw it back in slightly okay and tighten it and then back out because that can help get any kind of thread lock that is left on there okay so that's that come off and then the next one there we go it's, it's always a good idea to try and hold the motor okay you probably hear the cat there jumping around okay so we've got the screw out there that's fine you just want to make sure that you get nothing drops into the motor coils there and if you've got any kind of can there or maybe give it a little blow and just make sure that there's kind of get any kind of dust out it might be a good opportunity at that point now we're going to do the same on the other side here so let's just turn that around here and we'll take this off as well so we can get rid of these we don't need these anymore all these screws absolutely fine now as i said this should be if i just grab this here for you this should be magnetic okay which it is which is be perfect now you can see here if i show you on the screw can you see this like kind of this little bluey effect here so the little 
bit of the thread on the very, very bottom. They've got like a little bit of a blue on there. I don't know how well you can see that. There we go, that might be okay. So that's a very, very thin covering of this uh, lock thread or thread lock. Now there is different brands you can buy. You can buy a Loctite or, or that's one that I use if I need to use it. But fortunately with DJI, they come with these propellers and they have screws that already have this Loctite on them. Okay, now with DJI, they make it quite simple for you. You've got A and B. Now, can you see that A here has got the uh, the line number two there? Okay, so these are the counterclockwise. So we know that these blades already are for this one and this one. Okay, so let's cut these open. Okay, so in this pack, you get two blades. And we'll just double check. Yes, it has got the mark in there. So that's one blade, just double check, you never know, and two blades. And here we have a pack of screws, which I'm just gonna open. So this actually comes with three screws, like a spare one, so that's even better. Uh, we make sure these ones are out of the way, we don't wanna get them mixed up. And then we need to get the next one, because we've got another two blades to put on there, so A, Now the DJI standard pack, I think comes with one set of spare blades, uh, but this comes with three packs. So, and each pack has two uh, blades in for each counter or counterclockwise. So in theory, you can just change the complete set one and a half times. There we go. So let's get rid of this rubbish here. Okay, so now we've got four propellers. These are the new ones you see there with the mark on. Okay, so the first things first is to get your propeller, get your new screw, which I'm just gonna to attach to the magnetic screwdriver that comes with it. And you'll see there on the thread, hopefully you can see it, it's got a little tiny tint of blue. And now if I just put this around here, make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. And then I'm just gonna place that into there and then hold that in place so it doesn't spin. Tighten it down there. So that's tight. And the next one. There we go. Just make sure the other one's in place. That's fine. So there we have, they seem to spin fine. And the next ones, we do exactly the same. So that is how you change your propellers. So I'm just gonna double check now, they all go around fine and they all kind of move fine, that's fine. And the same with this one there. And like I said, it never hurts just to double check all of your uh, propellers just to make sure that they are on correctly because you just never know you don't want a propeller or a blade falling off mid-flight okay and just double check with these as well you don't have to do it tight you don't at all but just make sure it doesn't turn anymore there you go and that is it. So listen, if you found this video informative, although it might be a little bit long, then please give it a big, warm, spinny thumbs up. And if any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, then why not subscribe? Press that button. I think it's in that bottom right-hand corner there. Just go and press it right now. And then you guys can be part of the exclusive, yet elusive community that is 2Cat Media. So until the next video, stay safe and drone on.